Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today. We are glad to see all of you. My name is Frederik and I will be walking you through the introduction of our latest product edition, the Mimic Sander. I'll start with a brief introduction to the Mimic Sander. Then I'll highlight some of the main challenges that we see in the sanding industry in terms of automation and how we try to address those challenges. Then I'll do a more detailed walkthrough of the Mimic Sander the business cases that it supports and uh, provide different actual use cases uh, to show the specific use of it. Then I'll introduce something entirely new that is uh, complete sanding systems but more on that later. Without further ado let's dive into it. The Mimic Sander is a product that we have developed for the sanding industry. It builds on top of our existing Mimic and with Mimic you can record different paths for the robot to follow. Mimic holds many opportunities for many different applications and with the Mimic Sander we have tried to take a more focused approach. For the system integrator we have tried to make a more complete uh, HMI for the end user and in that way you get closer to the actual application and you get more of the package in there already. For the end user we've tried to create a tool for them that gives them the control of their robot to create the movements and programs that they need uh, when they need it. Generally in the high mix, low volume productions uh, where you need to reprogram on a very regular basis, traditional programming or involvement of a system integrator can often be too expensive uh, for some end users, which then acts as a barrier uh, to automation. So what end users often need when they need to reprogram on a regular basis is uh, they need to fully own their own process and they need, they need to keep everything within. They don't need to outsource programming and they don't always need to call the system integrator to get a program done. They need to be able to program when they need it and they need the craftsman to do it. So the craftsmanship is in, in the sanding. System integrators on the other hand with customers who are doing fewer parts on a yearly basis to give an example needs to be able to enter a production do the processing uh, for the customer and then exit the production again and then let it run. For system integrators, uh, making a complete solution often involves a lot of risk as they are responsible for the final result and therefore they have to consider more expenses uh, than needed when they are building uh, everything from scratch. Uh, and scalability is often low uh, as uh, the solutions have high complexity and so the solutions are custom made. What also happens when you do uh, traditional programming is that you often lose the, the craftsmanship in the programming and uh, we, we would like to maintain that craftsmanship uh, in the program by allowing the, the craftsman to do the actual programming. So what you need with these kind of solutions is that you need uh, a proven functionality, you need to lower the risk of the setup and the final result, you need to be able to scale sales uh, within sanding, be application specific and then you need the, the solution to be usable by the end user as well. And that's what we're trying to address with the Mimic Sander. So what is in the, the Sander specifically? Specifically, there are two things uh, in the Sander. One is a joystick that is specifically designed for sanding applications. Another is the Mimic Sander interface. Um, which is a complete user interface that is designed to make sanding uh, easy and support the features you would need there. The idea is that I, with the joystick, am able to move the robot around and record what I'm doing. And then afterwards, the robot will simply repeat what I did. Then I have a list of different features I can use to make my uh, sanding easier. It is built for the uh, UR10 E-Series uh, and uses the force control that's in, in the robot. When working with applications where you have direct contact with the piece, and especially complex pieces, you need compensation and you need it on the tool. That we have taken into account with the sander, also in terms of the tools we recommend. Aside from what's in the package, then uh, we also, it also comes with a list of recommended tools. We have different tool partners and as you see here we have the Mirka uh, iris uh, on the robot that we have tested uh, and it works very well with sander. With the Mirka tool we have added our own NAC, an active compensation unit that ensures the right distance to the piece. We also have the Flextrim iSand 
and the flex trim has a brush abrasive, thereby compensating through that and have no need for additional compensation. And we have the Shunk uh, random orbital sander that we have also used. The Shunk tool has compensation built in and now works very well. So these you can, uh, you can use in your setup or you can of course also use any other tools you may have, but these we know work very well. The joystick has a dual hand grip that allows you to have a firm uh, grip and control of the robot. It has six configurable buttons that you can map to different input and outputs and uh, specific mimic functionality, uh, such as uh, the force control. It has an integrated FT tracker in there, and then uh, it has a flange that fits on the UR robot. The touchscreen uh, has additional physical buttons that you can configure to whatever you may have in your setup. Uh, there's one you can use as an emergency button, two push buttons, and then uh, one select a switch. The front panel is uh, dust and waterproof. It has an IP65 rating. On the back you have an uh, integrated computer, and on here we're running the Mimic software and the Mimic sander add-on. Uh, in the box, you will get a monitor stand that can, uh, you can mount it on. If you have a dustproof cabinet where you are collecting all of your electronics, then uh, the screen is also made to be integrated into that. The Mimic sander offers uh, several features to make the sanding or the programming of the sanding easier. Uh, first of all, we have uh, a force control feature in uh, the sander. We're using the uh, internal force sensor in the UR robot and that uh, helps you maintain a constant force when you are sanding. So you set a specific force and then the sander moves down and uh, keeps the same force applied on the surface all the time. And then that you can modify afterwards if you need to. What we often see in sanding application is that you want to maintain a constant height or a constant uh, angle on a, on a piece. So we have uh, two features in there that allows you to simply lock the height so you can't move up and down. Uh, and then you can uh, rotate the tool to whatever angle you need and then lock it in there and then you can move from there. Speed is uh, crucial when we do uh, sanding, uh, surface treatment, and uh, you can override the robot speed with a uh, constant speed and that you can also edit afterwards. We also have something new, uh, something we call programs. Uh, we have a complete library in Mimic uh, where you can see all of the individual recordings you've done and in there you are able to collect those recordings into a complete program that you can then run. So let's say you have recorded the top of the surface as one recording, you have taken the sides and the edge, then you can go into your library and from there, you can select the individual recordings, put them together in a complete program, and then you run it as one complete process. So the Mimic Sander comes with a joystick designed for sanding, the complete uh, sanding interface. It is built for the end user, can easily be used by the system integrators as well, tailored for the sanding industry, and it has this force control that is crucial for uh, sanding applications. The price for the complete set is 14,000 euros. So the sander opens up for two kinds of uh, business models. For the system integrator who does uh, turnkey solutions, let's say they do uh, five programs for a customer a year, they can have the complete setup on their own. And then they can sell play licenses to their customers so they can bring their own setup or their own uh, sander to the end user, do the programming, take the system with them again and let the, the end customers have the program running for as long as they need to. The uh, second option is to sell the entire uh, kit to the end users as well. So for the system integrators who has end customers who have a high mix, low volume, let's say they do five programs uh, per week, they need to be able to reprogram on a very regular basis. So there it would make sense for the end users to buy the complete Mimic Sander and uh, use all of that. So what kind of parts can you process with the Sander? Uh, the scoping is uh, pieces that are small to medium size, that is within one by one meters, and that can be either flat or have a, a high curvature to them. 
So here you see an example of a chair bag where we are sanding the flat side and here we're using the force control that then maintains the, uh, the constant force all over the surface. Another example is uh, from a staircase where we have a complete uh, flat piece where we simply also use the force control to keep the, the, the force consistent and then we move across the part uh, to get the consistent sanding. Here we have an example of a piece where there is some curvature to it and uh, here we can also use the force control to maintain a uh, constant pressure and then we simply guide the tool uh, across the part. Here you see an example of a part that has a high curvature. Here we are not using the force control, here we are using active compensation. It's our own uh, knack that's on and that then helps us uh, comp compensate along the way as we do the programming. So to make it clear, there are two options when we are talking force with the Mimic Sander. Either uh, we use the, uh, the force control, which uses the built-in force sensor in the uh, UR robot. Um, and with that, you can then record with a constant force and that can be modified afterwards. It's good for parts that are flat or have some curvature to them. The other option is to use uh, active compensation. We have our own knack here. Um, and instead of using the force control, then you record with compensation uh, and that is uh, good for parts with a, with a high curvature too. Then in addition to the launch of the Mimic Sander, we are introducing something else entirely new and that is complete Mimic Sander systems, where we use the different tools we have from our tool partners. So the system is the, the robot and the, the sander and the tool systems. And uh, we have one option where it's uh, all of uh, Mirka's tools, then we have one where it's the FlexLim tool, and then we have one where it's Shunk's tools. To sum up on the product, the Mimic Sander is a custom joystick uh, designed for sanding, and then there's the complete uh, interface where you get all of the features you need for solving sanding applications. For the system integrators, you have the option of uh, buying the kits for yourself, and then sell play, play licenses to the uh, customers and then in that way sell programs to them. And for the end user you have the option of buying the complete sy system for uh, high mix low volume uh, productions where you will enable the end users to do all of the programming on their own.